Hey you guys, my name is Diane Parham and I have been a coach for five years, a little over five years now. Um, I am a die hard believer in Beachbody's fitness programs as well as the meal plans and of course Shakeology. So if you use the plans as outlined, then they will yield you the results that are advertised. And so I'm hoping that this group for December um, will be a success for everyone who has joined us and is looking for some accountability and some support during the holiday season. Um, some advice that I'd like to give you um, on getting through the holidays and being part of a sort of a fitness and health challenge is the biggest thing that you want to do is make sure that you've clearly defined your goals for December. So um, for a lot of us, this is not a time for, you know, a big health and fitness transformation necessarily. Um, and a lot of us are just really hoping to kind of just stay on course and not go off the deep holiday end with, you know, some significant weight loss or end up, you know, ending the holiday ceiling, um, season sort of feeling crappy um, because of some of the indulgences that we um, took advantage of. So make sure that you've clearly defined your goals for this month so that you don't end up cheating yourself out of feeling the success that you deserve. So if you are one of those people who is looking to lose some weight this holiday season, then um, make sure that you have checked in with your coach and that you have a pretty detailed and outlined plan for how you're going to attack December and how you're going to manage. Um, hopefully you're doing the 21 day fix um, and you have your Shakeology all, you know, dialed in and you have a set plan of when you're going to, you know, get your workouts in and how you're going to follow that, um, that meal plan and use those containers to your advantage. I have no doubt that if that's your goal that you will be successful in the month of December despite anything that's going on with the holidays because you just have to basically make a choice and then just stick to that choice. If you want to sort of stay on course and not um, gain any weight this holiday season, that is totally doable as well. Again, just make sure that you have, um, you know, set those expectations and those goals out clearly for yourself so that when you are presented with um, being in a position where there's a holiday party or that there might some might be some things that are going to be extra in your nutritional plan that you are able to account for those things. Um, and um, that you've built it in to not only your plan for the month, but you have also kind of made that emotional decision about what you're going to do before you're in that situation. So it's totally fine to take advantage of some of those opportunities. But, um, you know, if you take advantage of every opportunity that you're presented, um, you know, this holiday season, as far as parties go and food and extra alcoholic beverages, that um, you might miss your mark on your goal and end up being one of those people who ends up gaining some weight this season. So pick the ones that it's worth um, taking the indulgence for and then clearly define the ones that are not going to be worth it and then just kind of focus on the people that you're with and socializing and stick hardcore to your goals. Um, you know, I always find this time of the year um, very interesting because, you know, we either have one of the other, you know, people who are diehards and they're going to stick to it or people who completely fall off the other end and it's the mainstream person that seems to suffer the most. So if you find that you're that person, um, please use this group to your advantage. Please use your coach um, as a resource for yourself. And most importantly, we have to remember that this is the season of people and it's the season of giving and it's the the season of sharing and that we want to keep that first and foremost as our primary focus for the season so that we um we don't miss out being too focused on food and too focused on the things that we're um you know that we don't want to get focused on the things that we're not allowed to do let's take advantage of the things that we're presented with that are true blessings to us and true gifts to us and then let food be sort of a secondary thing and i guarantee you that when you use shakeology as your tool and use all of the tools in the 21 day fix and you get